It is the morning of day eight, and I am on the road out to racetrack right now. It's pretty heavily washboarded in places, so I aired down my tires a bit to smooth it out, but as you can see, it still is quite shaky. I have a few more days on this trip, and I might spend them out here at racetrack, but I might also end up um, spending my last morning back at Stovepipe Wells to try to get a dune shot. It all depends on you know what I what I find when I'm at racetrack and find some stuff I really want to shoot and how much time I want to spend out there. It's been a good trip so far. I'm really looking forward to seeing what I've shot and getting the film back and it's been really fun. I really like heading out here. Racetrack Playa sits a little over 3,600 feet in elevation, so it's understandably a little chilly here in the morning. On the drive in this morning, it was 24 degrees, so I know I'm going to be in store for a chilly evening. As soon as the sun sets, I'm sure it'll be darn near freezing. I spent most of the morning and the early afternoon scouting out shots here. I was just crisscrossing the playa looking for just the right rocks with just the right trails. I found two such rocks and logged those into my GPS. My conditions for the rocks, I wanted one uh, that was going to be a blue rock, that way it stands out against the warm tones of the playa. I wanted to have a shot that faces north, that way I can have a better chance of having some nice high clouds in the background. But also I wanted to have a really strong trail behind the rock. So the two rocks that I found, one of them I think might make for an interesting shot tonight. The clouds were non-existent when I first got here. Then there are some minor high clouds off to the north. Those clouds have now passed south of here, but there still are some clouds if you look back behind me there. If those stick around, it might make for an interesting sunset. I feel confident enough to bring the 8x10 camera out here and set up for a shot. If it doesn't happen, no worries. I'll be here for a few more days, but it would be really nice if I get the opportunity to take a shot on my first day out here. We're about 10 minutes from sunset, and I'm not planning on taking the photo as you see it here. Uh, the clouds are on the horizon there. They're pretty small in the photo, but they're moving towards me. And as soon as the sun sets, they might light up and they might come closer to me and might make for a really cool looking sky. I could take the picture any day without any clouds back there. And if I figure I'm gonna put my uh, emphasis on just one shot today, I'm gonna hope that those clouds scoot this way and they light up. The sun is set. Those clouds back there did move into position exactly where I wanted them to be. The only problem is that they never lit up. It just wasn't quite at the right angle to hit the light or maybe there's a mountain that obstructed the light, something along those lines. I'm gonna leave my camera here overnight, just like in the past, but this will be a lot easier to find than at bad water when I have to walk through all the salty water. This is pretty straightforward. I am about a mile out on the playa, so it's a little bit of a walk, but not a big deal. So I'm gonna gather up some of my gear, I'm gonna head back to camp, uh, load some film holders, and get everything going. Today on the drive-in, it was 24 degrees, which is a little chilly from a Southern California standpoint. I do have enough stuff for the warm, the, let's start this over again. The clouds have been steadying. Clouds have been steadying. I guess they are pretty steady. I look like a ninja right now. So I have a feeling just like yesterday, they might drift away from here and 
have a blanket, blanket sunset. A blanket sunset feels kind of nice. 